Today, world is moving towards automation. There are lots of new technologies such as artificial intelligence, machine learning, robotic process automation, IoT, and so on, which are automating various activities which we are doing manually. Today, I'm going to explain you how we can utilize chatbots in SAP security space. I'm using Slack Messenger to integrate my chatbot, but it can be anything. Be it Sky for Business or Microsoft Teams, Google Chat, or your homegrown application as well. What I did is I've developed this particular chatbot and integrated it as an app to my Slack Messenger. And remember the bot is something which can understand natural language. All you need to do is train the bot. The moment I ping the bot, the bot can respond to you with various options that it can do for you. In this example, I'm using password reset, but you can have other options like user information, validity extension, locking unlocking, role information, etc. So in case if you want to need access to a particular transaction code and you are not very sure on which role you should ask, all you need to do is just ping the bot with the transaction code and, and the bot can tell you the appropriate role and can even raise a request for you. So there are two ways to communicate with the bot. Either you can select the options which are listed here, or you can just type, okay, the bot on what exactly your requirement is. So what I'm doing here is I'm validating with the email ID, but even this can be integrated. So with the Slack ID, it can identify your appropriate email ID and automatically go and, you know, give you an option of which all systems you need the password reset. So in this example, I'm just using one of the test ID that I've created. All I need to do is just enter the email ID and the bot can tell in which all environments I have my ID in. In case if my ID exists in only development and quality systems, it doesn't even show production. And in case if my ID exists only in one system, it directly, you know, resets my password and then, you know, sends a new password on my email ID. It is all how you train your bot. It can just do anything. In this case, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm saying, okay, reset my password in production environment. I want to see which all products and systems I have access in. And it shows that, okay, my ID is available in this particular connector. So all I need to do is, okay, so just type the connector name. As I said, you can just click the button as well, and it, it will ask you challenge responses. And these can be enabled, disabled, or it can be random as well. It need not be the same question all the times. And in case if user has registered 10 questions, it can alternatively pick the questions and then, you know, uh, confirm with the user on, you know, whether the response is the right one before resetting the password. So in this case, what I'm doing is I'm just giving a wrong answer to test whether I'm using the right one or not. See the bot goes and compares with the answer which is there in the SAP system. And it says, okay, you probably need to try once again. So what I'm doing is I'm this time, I'm just giving the right answer. 
when it says pet name, I said, okay, Sonu is my pet name. And it immediately says, okay, thanks for validating. And the new password is on you know, my email ID. So what I, what I did is I'm just going to my SOST to show you the email. So this is a chatbot, which is, uh, you know, the email which is triggered by the chatbot, right? And if you look at this, you can see that, okay, so the new password for particular connection is so-and-so and whatever the text I gave can be, I mean, this is something that we can replace quickly. And this can be sent to the user's email ID directly, or it can be sent as, sent as an SMS, or it can be on the chat itself. So you can define how exactly users should get the email uh, or, or the password, uh, you know, and, and, and the bot can just deliver that to the user. And once you are done, let's say goodbye to the bot, and then the bot can greet you, and this is where you can give any other message, or you can trigger a feedback form as well to understand how happy the customer is. So, as I said, this is just a quick example on how you can use chatbots. If you feel this is interesting and want to know more, drop me an email. I'll be happy to discuss more about these kind of automations or if you have something in mind and want to automate it for your organization, just let me know. Thank you and hope to see you soon.